Hey, physical scientists. So uh, remember that yesterday in the unit two folder, you should have been logging into Gizmos. And if you didn't already do that, then you definitely want to do that. If you are trying to catch up, then you want to make sure you've logged into Gizmos and that you've done the slope gizmo first, okay? When you do that gizmo, um, I will not see your submission until you actually press to submit, okay? So as of right now, only one student has actually submitted work from yesterday. Um, I can go through and I can see that several people haven't even started on the work from yesterday. So. You do wanna make sure you log in. You do wanna make sure you take a look at these assignments, okay? In this same folder, notice that yesterday we did this gizmo on slope and you answered the assessment questions after the gizmo. You wanna do the same thing today, but with this cat and mouse gizmo, okay? And if you have not logged into gizmos since yesterday, then when you open the cat and mouse gizmo in a new tab, you're gonna see a timer come up. And that timer is because you're not logged in. To make that timer go away, whenever you go to gizmos, just put in your password. Log in and then notice that the timer goes away. So if you see the timer, it means you're not logged in, and that you need to log in to be able to uh, use the gizmo and get the timer to go away. If you're not logged in, you also will not see the assessment questions that show up below the gizmo that are asking you to think about what you observed in the gizmo, okay? So this gizmo is going to be about linear systems. So this is going to help you figure a little bit more out about the equation of a linear line. And we'll reinforce that some tomorrow with an extra video. And notice that you also have these exploration sheets and you wanna to click to open your exploration sheet. Although I know yours will look a little bit different on the student side. Um, so you might not actually have to click, but make sure you don't go in and out of Google Drive when you're working with these. Make sure you work with these exactly in this one assignment and that you do submit it when you're done, okay? If you're trying to, if you have to step away and you need to come back to finish it up, make sure you get to it again by going through Schoology, okay? Don't try to open this uh, individually from your Google Drive or it won't submit the right way anymore then, okay? So um, notice again that you have some vocabulary. Now you should remember what slope is from yesterday. And uh, if you haven't gotten to it in math class yet, by doing today's gizmo, you'll be able to figure out and explain what a y-intercept is, okay? So again, these prior knowledge questions, these are really warm-up questions for us to do as a class. So go ahead and read over these now and think about what the answers would be. So Kristen is driving on the highway at 60 miles per hour. How long will it take Kristen to reach a rest area 90 miles away? So Kristen, I'm just gonna type K and cover 60 miles in one hour to cover the last 30 miles will take her, how long do you think? So if she can go 60 miles per hour and she has 30 miles to cover, that's half of what she can cover in an hour, right? So that would take her another half hour. So 1.5 hours total. Does that make sense? Do you agree with that? If you don't agree with that or you're not quite sure how to figure that out or to think through that, make sure you ask. You can leave a comment on the side, okay? and I'll see that and I can respond to you. Kristen is 20 miles behind a truck that is driving 50 miles per hour. How long will it take her to catch up to the truck? How far will she go in that time? Well, if she's going 60 miles per hour and the truck is going 50 miles per hour, then it's definitely gonna take 
them time to catch up to each other, right? The car, Kristen, to catch up to the truck. If um, the truck is 20 miles ahead and going 50 miles an hour, then that means in that first hour, the truck will have traveled or will have traveled 50 miles, but will actually be 70 miles away from where Kristen started, right? In that first hour, Kristen will have moved 60 miles. So time to catch up to the truck. If she's going to go 90 miles in an hour and a half, and the truck is going to go 100 miles, no, 75 miles in an hour and a half, okay, um, then, and the truck is 20 miles ahead of her, then not even after an hour, even after an hour and a half, she will still not have caught up to the truck, right? So she's trying to make her total distance be equal to the total distance of the truck, but the truck is gonna be this uh, speed times time plus 20, whereas Kristen is just gonna have her speed plus time. So time to catch up to the truck is definitely gonna be greater than 90 minutes, right? So at 90 minutes, K will have traveled 90 miles, but truck will still be 120 miles away from, sorry, will still be 95 miles away from start, okay? That's a little bit long for this warm-up box, but based off of what I think you know coming into this right now, I don't expect you to know how to um, solve those two linear equations that would give you an exact answer here. But you should kind of be able to think through this step by step. Now, maybe we'll come back to that again after this gizmo when we start to do the extension questions, okay? And um, we will be able to solve and see how we could find that exact point, okay? Um, again, this is a little bit more of a math kind of exercise, but because we're gonna be doing a lot of linear equations in physical science, overall, I think this is a good exercise for you guys to work through. So again, this is kind of the warm up for the class. Then we have the gizmo warm up. So you wanna definitely make sure that you have the gizmo open in a different tab, okay? A small mouse plays on the floor, unaware of the cat creeping up on it from behind, the cat springs and the mouse desperately runs away. And you could simulate that here, okay? And you could see, does the cat ever catch the mouse? No, not with that system, okay? In the gizmo, you can drag the slider, da, da, da. will the mouse reach its hole in time to escape the cat overall? In that case, no. In the gizmo, you can drag the sliders to adjust the speeds of the cat and mouse, as well as the head start of the mouse. To quickly set a slider to a given value, remember you can click on the text field, enter the value, and then hit enter. The time and distance of the cat and mouse are shown on the graph. On the controls tab, drag the mouse head start feet slider. What changes about the graph? So again, we don't really like this unit of feet in science. We would rather use meters or centimeters, um, but this is what you're gonna see at least with this gizmo. Um, it does give us nice integers here at least that we can work with, okay? So if we drag the mouse head start feet, what changes about the graph? What's changing about that blue line that is the mouse? What's happening when we move the head start up? The whole line is moving up, right? What do you notice if we give the mouse a head start of 10 feet? What do you notice about that blue line on the graph? Hmm. What do you notice if we give the mouse a head start of seven feet? What do you notice about that blue line on the graph? Hmm. Okay, so let's come back on the controls tab. What changes about the graph? Line moves up and down but it crosses the y-axis at the same value as the head start, okay? 
So that's what I would put down. You don't have to have that exact thing. You could have something similar to that. And again, I'm gonna clear out some of this text up here now, just so that it's not making our paging weird. For yourself, it does not matter if your pages scroll down when you're doing this, okay? Then drag then drag the mouse average speed, what changes about the graph. So let me come back here and let me refresh the page. Yeah, because I didn't remember what our starting value was. So if we move the mouse speed, what changes about the graph? It's that how fast it goes up by, right? What do you call that? What do you call the steepness of that line? Hopefully you said slope, right? So let's go ahead and use that language here now, okay? The slope of the mouse's line changes. The slope matches the speed. Would you agree with that? So if we're saying that the mouse's speed is four. Do we see that blue line go up by four over one second feet per second? Does it go up by four squares over one second? So zero to one, we've got it going up one, two, three, four. It touches that line there, right? Where should this line go if it's gonna have a slope of five? Well, it should go one square higher there. See, that's five for the slope. And then it's going through that square. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to ten real quick. Remember, you can type in. Notice that it goes from five to fifteen over one second. So that's a slope of ten. Okay. Click simulate. Does the cat catch the mouse? Well, what do you notice about the blue and the red line? Do they ever cross? They don't. And the mouse is running faster than the cat in that case, right? Even if we reset it to the original situation, this was the original situation. Did the cat catch the mouse? No, okay. This is the part that we would work through together. Now you are responsible for the rest of the parts here with the activity, okay? So notice that I clicked refresh in my browser as well. If you've changed settings, you wanna make sure that you click refresh so that you have the original settings for the mouse and the cat. And it's gonna ask you to um, do some of these things, okay? You can also check this box here without having to simulate it. And it will just, it'll tell you what the outcome would be of the simulation, okay? Um, and then that would tell you the time of capture as well. As you work through this, again, make sure you're filling in the orange boxes, okay? Continuing through. Remember, and you should know this from yesterday as well, but this graph here, to edit this graph and to graph the scenario, you wanna come down here and click on edit, okay? You're not gonna have colors here you can zoom in though so you could zoom in to fit maybe you could zoom in 200 percent okay and scroll that makes it easier easier maybe to do the graph and you can do an arrow you can do a line segment remember you want to draw on the graph what your lines look like you should start your line from the y-intercept and you want to check it to make sure it looks like it has about the right slope, okay? So this right now would have a slope of two, just about. Um, you do now have pen control, okay? So you could change that to blue for the mouse. And whenever you draw another line, let's say this is the cat. Whenever you draw the cat line, you can change the color for that as well so that you can be very clear about what your graph looked like for a particular model, okay? 
I'm not worried about you getting these lines exactly what they look like. Um, you can play around with these lines a little bit to try and get them so that they end up on the points exactly where you want them, but that can be a little bit tedious. So you just wanna make it look as close as possible to what you actually see in the actual lab, okay? Now I'm gonna delete those because otherwise those would show up in your version. And I want you to actually sketch the graph that you see, okay? Um, when you get through activity A and activity B, you can stop and come back to the assignment to watch the second video where we will work through this extension, okay? And I'm also gonna show you in my own notes at the end of the extension that we'll go back to the prior knowledge question here with Kristen driving, trying to catch the truck, and we can analyze that situation and find an answer, okay? So you wanna work through activities A and B, but before you submit this, you also want to watch the video where I help you and work through the extension with you, okay? And you wanna make sure that you're filling in these answers as you watch that video. So uh, I hope this is helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.